Log Furniture How To. The most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Oh, hey there, welcome back. Check this out. We got our log light base all welded up. Yeah, if you've been watching my videos, you know we've been working on this project for quite some time now. But we're on the final stretch, and today's the day we're going to start doing the final details and finish out on both First thing we're going to do is take this steel out there and activate some rust. Then we'll turn our attention to this log and get it finished out. Now because we want this thing to look as organic as we can, we've decided to let it rust. And to speed up that process, we're going to use a little bit of this muriatic acid that we've already taken time to dilute with water. We're going to spray it on, then we'll hit it with this wire brush, then we'll just let it sit for a few minutes before rinsing the whole thing up with cool water. So what we've effectively done with that muriatic acid is clean and etch the metal, which as soon as this dries will allow this hydrogen peroxide to go to work and activate the rusting process. So now that we've thoroughly cleaned out our spray bottle, we're just going to fill it with this straight hydrogen peroxide and spray it on. And we'll do this a couple times here over the next couple hours. You'll start to see that rust work here real quick. Yeah, and while that stuff starts to do its thing, let's turn our attention back to the real highlight of this project. We'll grab a few choice hand tools, a rasp or two, and we'll get this thing finished up. And to do that, we're going to need to get this thing up here on this table to drill us a couple pilot holes where it's going to mount our base. As you can see, I've already taken time to mark them right here on the bottom. And since we're going to be using these 3 8 inch lag bolts to fasten this thing to our base, we'll use a quarter inch bit for our pilot holes. In. And while we got this up on our table, let's go ahead and finish sanding the top of this thing. Yeah, but even with these modern tools, you're still going to need to go to a hand tool here and there and finish this thing out. Yeah, and here you can see an old carpenter's trick. I'm taking some construction subfloor adhesive to seal up these end grains on the bottom of this thing. I'll spread this stuff all over the end and let it dry. Act as a sealer here on the end of this. Alright then, let's turn our focus back to our base out here. Yeah, looks like this thing's rusting along pretty good. In fact, I think we're about ready to start adding the finishing touch. And for that, we're going to use three of these LED spotlights from the G-Lux series over at superbrightleds.com. These waterproof landscape lights are fully adjustable and can easily be turned on and off using this remote control. So what do you say? Let's get these things installed. But before we do that, I want to take a minute and install this metallic tape to the top of this on the inside so we can bounce around as much of this light as possible. We'll just take a minute and put these strips of metallic tape all across the top of this thing. Won't take us but a second. Looks like that ought to do it. So next is the easy part. We simply take these little mounting discs and bolt them right to our brackets. Yep, once we get these tightened down, it's simply a matter of slipping our light right over the bracket. Now these G-Lux plug-and-play landscape lights come complete with their own 12-volt transformer that we're going to house down inside this base and plug it into a regular 110 household current. Yeah, so you know what's next, right? It's time to get this steel base and this burnt log married. And if you want to see that wedding, you're going to have to click subscribe and come on back next time. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.